Hello Scorpios, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing great. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here and um, and coming in to check out what's going on with Scorpios with Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, okay? So I hope that you're doing good. I am using the classic deck and um, so let's get into our reading Scorpio. Alright, so we're going to just ask a couple questions. Alright, so we're going to get the overall energy. Uh, so remember, this reading may or may not resonate with you, and that's okay. All right, so we'll see for Scorpio. Okay, let's see for Scorpio. Okay. All right, Scorpio, you here you have the overall energy is the Seven of uh, Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, that's your connecting energy. So let's see what's happening for Scorpio here. Okay. All right, Scorpio, you have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Lover's card. You may be dealing with a Gemini. You have the Knight of Pentacles. And you have the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. A lot of page energy here. Okay. Um, I'm already getting a feeling about this one. <laughs> okay. So, Scorpio, you have been reflecting on a lot of thoughts here regarding um, your life here. And just thinking about something is on your mind. And you are thinking about a lot of changes that may be going on. Um, you may be thinking about changing careers. You may be thinking about uh, what you're going to be doing next in life and where you want to go. It's, it's, it's a really big, heavy focus on yourself with regards to what you really want and what you want to accomplish. Okay. Um, okay, the bottom of the deck, you have the seven, I'm sorry, the eight of pentacles. You already said had a seven. Um, so this could be a connected energy. So you have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, Scorpio, you have um, yeah, the Knight of Wands. You know that's the character of someone rushing back into you. They're being a little bit desperate. They're trying to come back into your energy here to um, to get back with you. You know that's what the Knight of Wands is, is. and it's also about that rushing in that feeling of making this change because there's some kind of change when I look at the two cards here that they're thinking about you know and this could be your person as well it could be mutual energies between the both of you uh, this person's coming back to try to say they have changed they want to get back with you or they just want to have a conversation with you and um, it's something about they can see their life with you and work things out in a sense and that's no surprise here because you have the eight of pentacles as well they're saying you know they're working on some type of project or idea and we're going to see what that's about um as well so but you have the seven of swords and the lover's card connecting with that and coming into that seven of swords with the lover's card is almost like a an uneasy feeling because just be careful with this energy, Scorpio. Somebody could be a little bit sneaky. They still could be deceptive. They could still be playing a little bit. And I'm not saying like in a cheating way, but it's almost like a they're not sure what they want. And they, But they do look at you as somebody they want to be with. And I'm not sure how long that is. So you might want to think about who that could be. The Knight of Pentacles, you're definitely heavily here about working on yourself. Independence, your money, your future, your life. Uh, building your wealth, building your success, all about you to be independent freedom here. I do feel a feeling where you just want to uh, do well for yourself, and I hope that for you, Scorpio. Page of Wands, you're going to be getting a receiving a text message, some kind of messages about change, how, and the Page of Swords, they are someone still stalking your media. You may It may be two people here, but there's definitely an energy here that you have somebody worried that's um, stressed out a lot over a situation. So let's see what that energy is, okay? So for Scorpio, now, th now this could be a lot from the, the energy of, when I'm talking about this, remember this could have been happening in the recent past, or this could be 
going on now or, or you know, in the near, very, very, very near future, okay? So, just kind of say that. But somebody here is very worried about something and they feel like you have really... I think they see this kind of new you. Um, you have came to this sense of understanding something about yourself. And they see this glow about you and that they want you back. But they are worried that you are still keeping that feeling of an ending to a beginning with a Scorpio. This ending has caused them to understand they betrayed you. And this could be what that they think you're not going to take them back. Or there's something in you that has um, released this person. If there's something in you that has released this person. See, there's Eight of Swords to connect with that. And then there's that Nine of Swords, okay? I told you they're going to be rushing back in where the change is. Uh, just kind of be careful with those knights, okay? They tend to be wishy-washy and playing around, maybe playing with their feelings. Or maybe not in so much intentionally, but they just don't know what they want. But Ace of Swords here is showing that they do have this understanding. If you were dealing with someone who betrayed you and somebody who kind of left you out hanging and the ace of swords is saying you know uh, this mental clearness has came over you and this is what i was saying your confidence here this kind of energy where you're putting on your you have became a higher level in your thinking that uh, this betrayal so that's why i'm seeing that that not a uh, yeah the not of swords here want to rush back and they're this des desperate kind of feeling of being pantic with you but you do see, they do see it kind of being successful with you. Um, and they want this another chance with you, okay? So let's go on to what's going to happen and well, how you're feeling with this person. So show me what Scorpio's energy is here with this person. Show me Scorpio's person. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. Seven of Swords and the Lovers cards. So let's clarify all those cards, please, angels. God's in spirit. Okay. And the cards fell on the floor. And I will get to reach that and get that. But let's get another card. Okay. Okay. So the card that fell on the floor was the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely you are really highly thinking about your future here and your money. And places you want to do, what you want to do. And this is about you building yourself as well, that you're not taking, you know, before you may have been a people pleaser. And with a Nine of Wands, you have the Hermit card. Hermit card here with a Nine of Wands. You are staying to yourself right now. Um, it's like you enjoy being alone right now. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands. With that energy here, with that Seven of Swords... It feels like, you know, <laughs> you're definitely not, you're standing up for yourself and you're finding your light back to yourself. And it's a, it's a, it is a not a ones type of caution, trust of issues. And, but you know, you're kind of like, Hey, you know, yeah, you put me through a lot of things, but, um, your deception did that. But now that I'm very, very cautious of you. Okay. So angel show me the cards for the lover's card for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Yeah, this person's really okay. All the cards are going on the floor. Yeah, you have a page of wands again. You may start. This person definitely wants to reach out to you, Scorpio, and talk to you. And I think there's some type of actually, I feel this is going to give you some type of closure um, to move forward. And there's something about. You stop caring. And the page of wands, there's going to be a like communication between you both. Um, but it's not going to be something that... And once you talk, you know, you're kind of getting the feeling where you are not feeling it anymore. So, let's see. But this is all your energy about the, the way you think with your person. So, with the, eight, the Nine of Pentacles, please. Show me the confirmation card for the Nine of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Okay, you have somebody here wanting Nine of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Someone's really talk, thinking about you. Page of Wands. Page of Swords, please. 
Okay, we can see here that the King of Pentacles, it could be two different people here. We saw this in our last video, I think the last couple times, the world card. Seven of Swords with the world card. You have came to this complete cycle, and it's all about you now, and you're really feeling it. And the Knight of Wands, you see that's That's what I don't, you got two Knight of Wands, two Page of Wands, and that it seems like you might have two people here. And also you have the Seven of Pentacles again. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, and Page of Cups and Two of Swords. There's going to be something here where you're going to have to make a decision on. And it's a Page of Cups is want to... They feel heavily thinking about you in the way of... If I can only get Scorpio back, I can grow this thing you know I just it's, I just need to really take my time with it I need to really grow it I can get but it is something here about their process about their life as well um, but you're not too quite sure about this okay so going back to King of Pentacles here and this is kind of like starting to get into their energy as well and the seven of swords and you have this King you know the King of Pentacles on top of the knight of Pentacles and the seven of swords for the page of wands there's an energy here that someone's kind of um defeated mode you know they feel like this this energy where you have the seven of swords up here and they're kind of in defeat mode they feel like you know could be a little deceptive but also they could feel like you know they're scared to get get um rejected and it's kind of like they're running away from something but they understand you have closed out a cycle. You have closed out the cycle, and you're you're really heavily focused on your your life right now. And you're not too worried about this person anymore. You used to be worried about them, but now you're not. And so here, um, with the Knight of Wands, they are. You have two people here. Someone, you know, you have the Knight of Wands. Um, could be the same person, but they could have changed it to um, this understanding between you both. These changes that took place between both of your lives here. But you also have this King of Pentacles. So let's look into that. The, who's that King of Pentacles? But there's someone at Seven of Pentacles and Page of Cups and Two of Swords. Definitely I do see something here where the person that is really taking things slow. They want to offer you love. and But you're not just too keen on something here. So let's look at this King of Pentacles first. Angel Gods and Spirits, Universe. What is the King of Pentacles bringing in for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. I don't see this purse. I see the Ace of Pentacles. They're, whoever this King of Pentacles is, they do have some money here. And the Ace of Pentacles, or they will be, but they definitely want to make a commitment with that. Let's look at the Two of Swords, please. Of the swords, two of swords. What is the meaning of two of swords for Scorpio? So I'm going to do this in Rising. For the two of swords, for the two of swords for Scorpio. Okay. Now they're trying to find some kind of, or you are, you're trying to find some creativity to your life and starting to feel. The energy back, right? The temperance is found in balance and harmony and peace. And that's what you're seeking here. But, um, it, you know, the only thing I'll say here, Scorpio, just be careful not of not the confusion here. But there are some opportunity for some big changes that's going to take place. So be careful. You know, be careful with your changes. Be careful what you're wishing for and manifesting. Because that Ace of Wands is talking about some major changes coming to your life here. So kind of keep that open. And, um... But basically, overall, here, just to kind of recap, you are coming into this new beginning of who you are as a world card. You're ending a cycle, and you have kind of start felt this new found. It's like you have peeled layers off your stuff, and now you just came into this energy where, you know, now I know what I want. Now, uh, you know, now I know what I will tolerate. Now I know what I would not accept. But let me show you something here. Would you have the King of Wands, King of Wands, not a Wands twice, but you also have the King and Queen Pentacles. And they're ready for commitment. So I don't know who this person is, Scorpio. Could be both of you, but there's some type of um, energy with growing together and being committed 
so I don't know who this person is, but they definitely um, are very interested in you, but I do see somebody that is just trying to take something very, very slow with you, but you're going to be confused here. You know, Scorpios are always confused, right, <laughs> about what to do. Um, but just be careful with the Knight of Swords energy and the Knight of Wands energy about making changes and trusting those changes. So you might need just to be careful and trust in those changes that take place, okay? Just kind of really go with your intuition, go with your, in, um, your watch out for the red flags, that kind of thing. Because sometimes you see the Page of Swords that could be kind of like a warning with um, red flags. So just kind of watch out for that. Um, but there is a page of wands here twice and the nine of wands twice. So it's a lot of changes, but also a lot of communication, a lot of energy where, you know, someone's really coming after you now. They're going to start chasing you and they're going to want to talk to you. So just kind of know about that, but just take it slow, Scorpio, because, the, um, you went through a lot of changes and, but this person does see success with you. And I don't want, hope that they're not just with you for financial gain, but there's going to be a big change here. So just kind of keep your balance, keep your stability, your mental stability uh, cleared, and your understanding of everything that you want. Okay, Scorpio? All right, don't get caught up in that stuck energy. It's still I me. <laughs> so don't get caught up in that stuck energy too soon. Um, I feel like you have released yourself. So this is what the universe is asking that, or is just wanting to let you know. So I hope this reading resonated for you. And I will see you next time, Scorpio. Take care. Send in love and light. Take care. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Take care. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.